Welcome to video 18 of any resources how to make a browser based demo org is Hals Valhalla. Um, real quick what we're going to do is, is I know I said in the last video we're going to do visit weapon shop and armor shop we've already done that but what I'm going to add new is is we're going to create Crocania's weapon shop and armor shop. We're going to make each shop differently as we go depending on where your locations are and we're also going to turn we're going to take away some pages and I'm going to show you how we're going to do it to get started. Uh, let me just show you what we got here. We got visit weapon shop. Now we have check out my weapons. We have a greeting, and then also if you notice the price is now different. I've made each shop have a different price. And the first thing we want to do, let's go to locations. We've already created locations, and what we're going to do is we're going to create two new locations. We're going to call it um, the weapon emporium and Neodemus is fine. Armor is just what I named. Them. Price five and ten. These are actually going to turn into percentages. Uh, five percent more than the average store, ten percent more than the average store. Level one types armor shop, weapon shop, and then the any greeting and the exit. Um, if we go into, let's start with armor shop. I've completely changed armor shop and got rid of buy armor and buy weapon, and I put them all in one page. And I want to start doing this to make it easier and to keep people from cheating. And you don't have so many pages you have to go to. So what I'm gonna start out, I'm gonna kind of start at the bottom of the page. If you go to where it says if bypass is not equal to one, I'm going to show you what that means here in a minute. But this is where this is where our old armor shop was. I've added in the greeting. I've made the border. Everything's the same except for one thing. We're actually now going to start adding percentages to where you can make each shop more. And you can set a base percentage, like you don't want zero to be the base because then you can't have a negative in your database and, and it work right. So what you want to do is let's say 20 is your base. So anything that's below 20 is lower than the average, anything above 20 is higher. And I'll show you how we're going to kind of do that, but just think of that as the price. I made a variable called percentage and it's uh, in info 3 price, which on our armor was 5. This this shop is 5, 5. So Five divided by 100 is 0 0.05. If you take that, um, if you take your your price of your your weapon or or armor or whatever it is, and you times that by that 0 0.05, that's five percent. Then you need to take the price plus that five percent, and the new price. And this is this is an this what this does is this turns the integer. It, it kills it from being a float, and a float is anything with decimals, so it knocks off the decimals. So. <coughs> If we actually go to our armor shop, let's click our never mind. It's the price of uh, this light leather curious is now 21. This is now 52. It's actually 5% more than what it was before. And I put the armor at 10 because it's now 10% to kind of show you the difference. This stuff is now 10% more. <coughs> okay. And I think there may be a little goof of the formula, and if somebody wants to tweak it, please do and, and post it, and I'll fix it. But I'm kind of in a hurry to get these videos caught up so we can start on the new ones. <clears throat> so let's go back. So then we want to post that new price, so I changed it to new price right here. And the one thing I changed is, is instead of going to buy, buy armor, I changed this to armor shop. Kept that the same, but I made a new... I threw a new variable out there and made it bot equals one. So at the top of the page, it's going to reload this page, and if this is set bot, then it's actually going to do this instead. <clears throat> when you first when you first come to the armor shop page, there's no there's no URL var variable bot, so it just passes this. But now that we've actually clicked on that link, we now have one, and we're going to equal make bypass equal one. That way. We don't also post this at the end. It's going to compl if bypass does not equal one. That way we don't have that table at the bottom. <clears throat> so next thing we want to do is get the ID that we that we posted up there. And let's see. Actually, this is not supposed to be here. I need to delete this out of here. Kind of got some extra there. I don't know how that happened. Must have been when I was copying and pasting. But anyway, that should fix us up. Um, save that. Anyway, so we're gonna we're gonna kind of put this back. We're gonna select our item again. The, this is basically uh, 
buy armor just copied in here <coughs> the only thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure we charge them that price so we're going to re-put this in here and then we're going to change the price to new price and we're going to minus off the gold of the new price and then we're going to put in here the actual exit greet so if I come in here let's test this because I made some changes visit armor shop let's buy the light leather curious curious and the only thing we're missing is that break right there so and let's double check let's go to player armor and there it is for 24 it should only have been 21 uh, actually if someone wants to maybe go and look at see where my formula went wrong and, and let us know we'll change it up I'll, 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 if no one gets it I'll get it by the next video but uh, there is a little difference there but it's still it's still for the most part working we just kinda gotta tweak it but uh, your, your, your weapon shop is going to be exactly the same we're gonna do kinda the same thing but the good thing about this is now we're all on one page armor shop is armor shop weapon shop is weapon shop we don't have to go to buy a weapon anymore we can just completely delete those out of there I'm going to keep them in the in the for in this file but I'm probably eventually gonna get rid of them because there's no reason to have them um, and if we go to weapon shop it's the exact same thing we it's the same concept except for we're selecting from weapons um, just make sure you put in here select all from locations where location equals your location and type equals weapon shop for armor it is type equals armor shop and that'll give you the percentages and everything you need right there <coughs> and as you can see we're kinda of building up to new locations eventually we're gonna build a map and everything add to this but this kinda of, this kinda of gives you um, a little more dynamic to it and, the, and if you go to your index the only thing I added was that I put the player 3's location that way you always know where you're at and I believe that's a about it for this video. I want to make sure I didn't skip anything. I didn't add anything new. So I believe we're done.